Would you like to see how I turn an acrylic paw into an abstract painting of an elephant? Then keep watching. Hi, my name is Pietro and this is the Artifex 23 Studio. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new video uploads. So, in today's video, I want to share with you my process of converting an acrylic pore painting into an abstract painting of an elephant. At the beginning of last year, I started experimenting with fluid art and more specifically with acrylic pouring. When I first saw videos on acrylic pouring, I felt like a lot of paint gets wasted when it spills over the edges to reserve the pattern or the composition in the middle of the canvas. I mean, we all know what art supplies cost. Later, I actually learned that a lot can be done with the paint that flows over the edges, like turning the dried paint skins into pretty jewelry. But that's a whole other video. Anyway, I then stumbled upon a video of Dutch artist Rinske Downer. She developed the Dutch pour technique where she pours a puddle of um, different colors on the canvas and then blows it out with a hairdryer to create a composition. Her videos inspired the experimental artist in me and I just had to try it for myself. I used the Dutch pour technique for my first experiment and these were my first two paintings. From there I also experimented with watercolors as well as inks on canvas. I tried pouring onto bigger canvases and really liked how the paint interacted, flowed and merged into new colors. And I especially like how beautiful cells and lacing formed when heat gets introduced to pop the bubbles in the paint. Even though I really loved the outcome of my efforts, I felt that something was still missing, as if the acrylic pour background was just a start to another painting. Then I got the idea to paint something on top of the pour, to use the lines and patterns as a guide for some type of form to emerge through it. I painted this buffalo and later last year this blue koi fish. I wanted to film the process of one of these paintings and I'd love to share this one with you. Just on a side note, there are so many different techniques for creating um, fluid art or acrylic pouring. I've only tried the Dutch pour, the paint swipe and the tilting techniques. For the buffalo and the koi fish, I used a combination of the Dutch pour and tilting techniques. And for the elephant, I used the paint swipe technique to create the background. I have a video on how the paint swipe technique works. It was a video I made when I first got the idea to do the elephant and I used exactly the same technique and exactly the same colors um, to, to do the, this elephant's background. I will have a card pop up here for that video. I think it will be here somewhere and I will also link it in the description box below. Okay, enough of my ramblings. Let's get into the video.
so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it if you did like it remember to give it a thumbs up i will see you in the next video and as always remember to follow your art